how was shy away come to take the throne to conquer world powers bring jake the home i'm quarterbacking like jake the long like mount rushmore i gotta face the stone <laughs> All right, first and foremost, I want to say, call Allah, you help by Shem Yabasha. That's our praise to the Most High God. I'm going to just dive straight up and straight up into it because y'all already know who we are, man. All right, we come right. out here week in and week out. Y'all should know our name by now. So uh, today I want to go into some, some, some that these Christians stumble on a lot, right? I'll try to say that we don't know or we don't have an understanding on, bro, and that's a great commission, man. All right? They really don't, they really don't have the true understanding of this, man. We're going to break it down right here today. All right? Go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 20. Verse, uh, chapter 28, verse 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in the earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach all nations, right? They they, they, they want to say that this right here is, is, is Yahweh Shai literally saying, Go and teach all nations. Everybody from each nation, what they want to go into, right? What, what, what are we supposed to teach them, right? He's going to go into it later on in the chapter, but right now we're going to their All Nations. Give me Genesis 35 and 11, all right? We're going to go into this All Nations right now, man, because they literally think the All Nations represents each and every person, uh, each, each and every nation, uh, uh, and every individual person within that nation is supposed to go and teach them, right? Not just of their judgment, but they think that this is talking about teaching them about salvation and that Christ came for them and blah, 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 blah. No, that's not what he's saying. Go ahead. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 35, verse 11. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Verse 10. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name is Jacob, right? All right, go ahead. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. So we know this is talking about Israel, right? We're talking about Jacob, we're talking about the, the, the physical man Israel. Go ahead. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company. A what? A nation and a company of nations. A nation and a company of nations. Who's going to do what? Uh, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. So a nation... A great nation, the Israelites is one whole nation, and nations, a company of nations, shall come of thee, shall come of who? Come of Israel. So all these company of nations, these multiple nations, are going to be of, 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 of Israel. They're going to be Israelites, right? And as you can look at the sign right now, how many different nations are on here? We can ask, you can ask, like I said, African Americans, right? They're going to say he's African American. That's one different, different nationality, right? You can ask a Cuban. That's another nationality. You can ask a Mexican. You can ask to go all the way, all the way from uh, Argentina to Chile, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that many nations just on this side, just on the Western Hemisphere. That's not including on the other side because you spread all over. So you're going to have some that's going to claim, that's going to be claiming African nationalities. That's going to truly be Israelites. You might have some that's going to even claim European nationalities. And they're going to be Israelites, right? Because we got, it's, it's Israelites in Italy. The Sicilians, some of them are Israelites. But they're going to claim that they Sicilians. So that's going to that company of nations. It's always been said that Israel would be nations, plural, a company of nations, multiple nations, right? So when you go into that, go into all nations, we have to go into all nations. We're going to get a little bit deep into it. Give me a... Uh, yeah, give me the video 20, uh, uh, 26 and uh, 33. Let's see why. Let's see how this happened, man. How y'all sisters doing? Y'all good? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all do? Y'all know y'all Israelites in the Bible? Could be. Nah, y'all, you want to know? You don't? You sure? Like, that's God's chosen people, most, most important people on the planet. At least take a flyer. Y'all goofy. <laughs> y'all want to take a flight? At least? Quick All right. Quick to put hey, hey repent, those, you know what I'm saying? For the most I keep in my hand. Y'all princess of the Bible, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 33. And I will scatter you among the heathen. I will do what? I will scatter you among the heathen. And will draw out a sword after you, and, and your land shall be desolate, and, the, and your cities waste. So, that's literally talking about 
talking about Israel right there is going to be scattered. Because Leviticus 26 is basically the same thing as Deuteronomy 28. It's a list of curses, right? So that's telling Israel that they're going to be scattered. Their city is going to be laid waste. You can see that today. I see these laid waste, man, right? Still to this day. What, what they call Jerusalem is not the real Jerusalem, man, right? The real Jerusalem is still laid waste. It's nothing but... When you look at the picture, bro, it's just desolate. Literally, like it says, lay waste, desolate. Just beat up rocks. The like a uh, 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 beat up old town, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing just but rocks on top of rocks. Literally, how the Bible said it's going to be, right? But right there, we scattered into all nations. So with us being scattered into all nations, what's going to come of that? We're going to start calling ourselves these other nations, just like we did in the time of Macedonia, before we called ourselves the Greeks, right? So going, going into that further, give me a... Uh, uh, this is why we got to go to all nations. This is why how Sean said go to all nations. He wasn't saying go to Edomites. He wasn't saying go to Ishmaelites. He wasn't saying go to Moabites. He wasn't saying go to the Canaanites or to the Hamites. That's not what he was saying at all. Okay? Because what, what, what are we going to teach them besides they just, besides they're going to get put to death? Exactly what we're doing right now. Right? We're gonna teach them that, that, that God died for everybody. No, nah, that's not we're gonna teach them the truth of the Bible. But where can you go in the Bible? Because they always say after Christ's death, that's when it opened up to the Gentiles. All right, show me there in the Bible where it says, after Christ's death, salvation now comes to the whole world. Salvation is extended to the Gentiles. You better not go to Romans 11. We'll break that down to you. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 13, verse 3. Confess him, <clears throat> confess him before the Gentiles, you children of Israel. For he has scattered us among them. So that's what that's what we gotta do. That's why we gotta go to every nation and confess him among the Gentiles to be scattered into every nation. Point blank period. I mean how, how much simpler can that get? This is Hosea 8 and 8 in NLT. The people of Israel have been swallowed up. They lie among the nations like an old discarded pot. They lie upon the nations. Man, we all of any nation. We all throughout the nation. Like I just said, all across the world. We're going to be called these different names of these different nations. You know what I'm saying? Taking on these different bywords. Right? That's why we got to go to all nations. This is the book of John, chapter 7, verse 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go to the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? The dispersed among the Gentiles. That's the Jews. He meant in the other Jews. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's that, that, that's the Jews. He's gonna pull it out in the, the other translation. There's one reason why we go the translation comparison so we can get a better understanding, right? So that's the dispersed right there is talking about the Jews. Who, who was dispersed? Who, what, who did the diaspora happen to? It happened to the Jews, right? Go ahead. This is uh. Yeah, this is John 7:35 in GNT. The Jewish authority said among themselves, "Where is he about to go, so that we shall not find him? Will he go to the Greek cities where our people live? Where what? Will he go to the Greek cities where our people live? So these these is Jews living living amongst the Greeks, man. Right? Go ahead. And teach the Greeks. Is he gonna go there and teach those people that are basically calling themselves Greeks, man? Right? That's what that's going into. So this all nation, this thought that the Christians have, they're going to all nations literally mean you go to every person that's of a different ethnic background, a different nationality. That's not what that's going into. That's going to going to every Israelite that's in these different nations and teaching them about Yahweh Shah, teaching them about the death of Yahweh Shah, the remission of sins, the grace that is extended to them, the promises that are that, that are theirs, right? Because they don't they don't know. Just like these people riding around in these scooters, they have no idea who they are. They have no idea that they're Israelites. They have no idea that these promises are extended to them. They have no idea that the land of Israel is their land. They don't know, right? What's what's up? What's she saying? Oh yeah, you can uh, YouTube. So what's y'all ethnicity? Uh, uh, we're Filipino. Filipino? Filipino, yeah. What's that, Moab, bro? Are you Mestizo or full Filipino? Oh, no, I'm full. Y'all believe in the Bible at all, y'all? Oh, uh, I don't know that. You don't even read on nothing. Okay, so that's why you want to watch the video and try to get yeah, understanding what's I going on? Yeah, I want to okay. watch Yeah, we're, oh, okay, not from, okay. we're not from here at all. We're just visiting. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so 
Yeah. That's cool. Y'all can go to uh, Sakari YouTube. It's on our shirts. Right? Yeah, Sakari YouTube. It's on our shirts. Go ahead. No? No. Sakari is. That's I. Where was I going? Uh, yeah, give me X. This one's his own Yeah, give me that. The book of X, chapter 2. This, uh, the book of X, chapter 2. Start at first. Verse 5. And there were dwellings. At, Jer at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Jews, devout men out of every nation, going to the nations. And we're going to see what, what nations they was going into. And we're going to see if the apostles or the disciples went to these nations, man. Go ahead. Chapter verse 8. Now when this was, was noise, when this noise gathered, and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. They heard them speak in their own language, right? So they they, they speak and they speak. You know what I'm saying? These people that's gathered, they speak in different languages, man. Because they come from a different, you know what I'm saying, background, right? Go ahead. Verse 8. And how and how just lie, and how hear we every man in our own tongue where we were born. Porthanus, Porthenius. And means and Elamites. So these, so these, these are these different nations that they coming out of the language that they hear. They speak in these tongues. They speak in these different languages to these men, and they understand it because they speaking it to them in their own tongue. And these are different nations that they that they in. Jews, devout men, Jews, and all these different nations. They going by these names, right? Go ahead. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia, and the and in in Judea and Capra. Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia. So, so that's the, the list goes on, right? And it's some more, right, that these men come out of, right? But this, this just let you know, I've got people all across, everywhere across this globe. That was back then, and we are still to this day, okay? So give me, go back to uh, Matthew 28. So, so that's going into all nations. Why we have to go to all nations? For one, because we are scattered from the beginning. They told us, he told us in Leviticus, he told us to do the run me. If we don't listen, we're going to be scattered, right? Then we had kids that was put off, uh, that the, uh, like you said, the Negro only like to use that to say that, to say that the kids were put off so they, so they not of Israel. Now they're still of Israel. It's just that they got sent away, man, right? They're still of Israel, though. The kids are still Israelites. They just got put away because their daddies weren't doing right. They was fully following the customs of another nation. Their daddy wasn't teaching them how to raise the child up the way that he should go. Right? So they got to get sent off them and they mama got to go. Okay? But that was, that was basically the start of us taking all Gentile customs and becoming Gentiles, man. So now we got to go to all these nations and teach all these people who they truly are. The same thing we're doing to this day. Right? We literally go, the Israelites today are almost in every nation, bro. You got Israelites, Sakari in Mexico, for one. Right? Tijuana. You got uh, uh, IUIC, you know what I'm saying, them brothers in Africa. You got GMS, ain't they in Russia? And they in England, London, they all look. We in Hawaii, we going off all these nations, right? We literally doing this to this day. We're good. The book of Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. Baptizing them, right? So they are gonna think, what's the baptism? Is a baptism, you know, the water? Give me that uh, the, the, the first piece. Uh, right? Is it is it is it is it, is it water? What is it? what is the baptism? It says baptizing them in the name, right? And the name is going to go on to say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So we're going to baptize them, you know what I'm saying, in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully the spirit of understanding gets up on them. That's not talking about a trinity either, as they're going to try to put it. Okay? It's first Peter chapter 4, no, chapter 3, verse 21. And like figure, one to even baptism. 
do is also now save us, not to put in the way of the filth of the flesh. Not to put in the way of the filth of the flesh. Go ahead. But the answer of a good conscience. But the answer of a good mind, right? You you having a good mind towards the most high. Now you taking, now you getting dipped in a, in a in a bath, not even a bath, some dirty church water that been back there <laughs> since, <laughs> since 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 almost the church been open. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody swim in the church. Yeah, it's got that dirty ass yeah, right. bath water back there though. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't even think that they that they that they uh uh re that they put some more in it after they so called wash away somebody's sins in there. So you just dipping somebody in some old dirty sins then. <laughs> <laughs> A good conscience towards God by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. So that's what we gotta baptize him in the name of the true resurrection. Hey y'all good, y'all good. Y'all stop for a minute. Hey y'all in front of the camera, you might as well stop now. Y'all in front of the camera, y'all might as well stop. Come here. Learn something real quick. Y'all know here's the lights of the Bible. Y'all know your Israelites of the Bible? You never heard of that? You, know, you never heard of the Israelite spirit, the movement that's going on? Or the awakening is going on? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in God? Yeah, for sure. All right, bitch. This is a, it's a word for you, sis. It's a word for you. I ain't going to take up too much, too much of your time. This is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. He likened the daughters of Zion, which would be y'all, mm -hmm. to a comely and delicate woman. You know what I'm saying? So that's why y'all little pretty, delicate women. Y'all should act according as such, because y'all princes is up on this earth. Right? Y'all gotta be out here, y'all gotta, gotta be careful, and y'all gotta act how the most high, how God wants us to act. It's not according to how these churches tell y'all leave it. Church can't tell you come as you are, blah, 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 skip, right? They how God wants you to be. God wants you to be a uh, true woman of the most high. You know what I'm saying? Coming up in the spirit so y'all can teach y'all little sisters or whatever. Oh, y'all, y'all like what? 15, 17? 16? Y'all yeah, look, look like 18. my little sister. 18? Oh, you grown, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just graduated? All right, congratulations. Thank you. All right, so knowing, knowing this, you know what I'm saying? That child probably is a of the tribe of Judah. What's out there? The African American? Yeah, y'all most likely tribe of Judah. You know what I'm saying? Top tribe, king tribe, right? So y'all as y'all as women got responsibility to teach the younger women who they are and be a true example. You know what I'm saying? Not to be out here like Meg the Stallion, you know what I'm saying? Having high girl summers and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Trying to twerk everywhere you go. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Cause what kind of attention that's gonna attract? Y'all see how women get kidnapped and snatched up like every day. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta protect y'all and y'all gotta have a good conscience to not do things that's gonna provoke people to want to get y'all, because they are already out for us anyway. You know what I'm saying? These devils right here, right? Matter of fact, y'all believe y'all believe uh God love everybody? Y'all do? Well, she said she don't. You don't? Now you in the spirit, sister. All right. Give me that uh what you got? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna give you one, I'm gonna give you two more. I know we're trying to go. You will? I'm gonna give you two more, and then you can go. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I love, but he Jacob, right there. Jacob got his name changed to Israel. We are today the descendants of Israel, so we'd be Israelites. These various 12 tribes right here be Israelites, right? So it says, Jacob have I love, Israel have you love, blacks, Hispanics, and natives have you love. Go ahead. But Esau have I hated. Esau, the descendants of them, are so called white people. You call them so called because they're not truly white. They're not the color of my shirt, right? We say so called black because y'all not the color of them, right? So they are Edomites. God said he hates Edomites. These are things that we gotta understand. You know, how the church taught us, taught us how God is, it's not truly how he is. God hates a certain people. And he hated, he hated certain people that he created. Yeah, he didn't tell you why, Romans 2, right? So he hates, he hates Edomites and he loves y'all. Which y'all being the ones that he chose, the ones that he loved, we gotta keep the law, saints, and commandments and the faith, true faith in the world and who the world called Jesus, not this white guy. Because Jesus, Yahweh Shah is really black, brown skinned just like us. Y'all know that, right? I'm pretty sure y'all heard that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know y'all get to that. You know what I'm saying? With that understanding, y'all going with y'all day, y'all, if somebody asks y'all again, what's your ethnicity, what y'all gonna say? You gonna say black? No, because you went to, no, African, no. You an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You said the Israelite, boom, she listen. You're not, you're not, because you're not the color of your shirt. You pretty brown. You ain't no damn dark, right? You know what I'm saying? You crispy, right? So, so you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, you a princess on this earth, and everybody should treat you as such. You know what I'm right. saying? These other nations, that, that little white boy right there, 
he should be, you know what I'm saying, crowding behind you, you know what I'm saying? Begging, begging, begging for you, for you, for your crumbs. You know what I'm saying? You above them, keep it doing 76. We above all these other nations. All these other nations, white people, Asian people, you know what I'm saying? African people. The Africans, they not our people. You know what I'm saying? They they, they call us a cutter. Y'all know what a cutter means? A cotton picking nigga. That's what they call us. Not all of them, not all. Okay, not all Africans. Not so, some of them are Israelites over there. The water. This is Deuteronomy, chapter, uh, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. See that? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we above all everybody. You know what I'm saying? All Israelites. Israelites lives matter. You know what I'm saying? All right? This is the last one that y'all go ahead and go have y'all fill out the schools. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 2. And say, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So we got to repent. You know what I'm saying? We got to learn. You got to first learn what sin is. Sin is transgressing the law. So once you learn sin is transgressing the law, you got to go into the law. Study it, read over it, and see what's what's going on. How are we sinning? You sin it by basic sins. Eating shrimp, eating lobster, eating pork. You know what I'm saying? All less is sin. Right? We can't be doing that. That's just basic sins. It's a little bit more. You can't eat, have blood in your food or whatnot. You know what I mean? So those, those are just basic sins right there. But y'all can go back, study. Y'all got the flyer. Review the, review the flyer. Get on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got questions. Ask the questions. Hit the email. Hit the number up that's on the flyer. And then uh, y'all can uh, go ahead and start the start process to be repented. Young women of the Most High God being true leaders of our nation that we need. You know what I'm saying? We need our women to raise up these little women, you know what I'm saying, to be better women. Because if we don't, they all going to... Y'all see how y'all see how the generation is going now? How much worse is it going to be if they keep getting raised up like this? Huh? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, and it says, uh, this is Lamentations chapter 2, verse 10. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground and keep silence. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem hang down their heads to the ground. My eyes do fill with tears. My bowels are troubled. My liver is poured upon the earth for the destruction of the daughter of my people. So we, we sad for the destruction of, of our people, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time we see our people in, this, in the states that they're in, we sad about it, man. We, we, we don't, it's not, it don't make us happy to be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? What, what they say, uh, I'm out feeling a nigga or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm shitting on that nigga. That, that don't do us no good. We want to come together as a nation and build each other up as a nation. You know what I'm saying? Because we'll support everybody else. We'll go to the little uh, Asian food supply stores and buy up all their stuff. You know what I'm saying? But the little blade of black uh, food supply in Lancaster, they got shut down. Why is that? But the Asian across the street stayed open. That's kind of mentality we got to get out of. We got to come back and support our people. Man. You know what I'm saying? And, and be upset. When one of us go through something, one of us go through something, we all go through something. Right. One hit you, they gonna hit us. Somebody come up here and disrespect y'all, watch our cook gonna be on their ass. And we don't even, we don't even, we don't even know y'all first names. You see what I'm saying? But we love y'all because y'all go to society and we want to protect y'all and uplift y'all. You know what I'm saying? And be show y'all what a real man supposed to do and treat, how he supposed to treat y'all. All right? And with that, y'all have a good day. Look over the information. Appreciate y'all for this. All right? Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. Baptizing them, right? In the name of the Father. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is Acts chapter 8, verse 12. But when they believed, uh, Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. When they believed, Philip teaching the things of the kingdom of God, right? Go ahead. And the name of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And the name of Yahweh Shah, right? He said, baptizing them in the name, right? Go ahead. They were baptized. They was what? Baptized. Because they believed in that name. They believed in what he was saying. They had the faith. Go ahead. Both men and women. And then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized. He was what? 
baptized. They're being <laughs> when he was baptized, they're being baptized by that name. You know what I'm saying? In that name. Believing in that name for Yahweh Shah having true faith. And true understanding that he came for the remission of their sins. Right? Go ahead. He continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were none of which were done. Now when the apostles so they was baptized in that name, right? They, they, was bat, they was baptized in that name. That's what that's going into. We got to come out here, teach them like we just did the young sisters. Not not this guy, not not Jesus, you have a shot. We got to teach them that. So now, maybe one of the little sisters, they'll have the true faith. They'll try to go in and get the understanding. You know what I'm saying? Go look at some view, uh, videos and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And if they hearken, they literally just got baptized bro, in their name. Right? Go ahead, give me that. Who got Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garment, O Jerusalem. Put on, put on our beautiful garment, O Zion, right? Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beauty, beautiful garment, O Jerusalem. The holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee. The uh, uncircumcised and the unclean. So let's go. Let's go on. Let's go on into into the uh. Let's go on into the land. You know what I'm saying? The land. Wake up, right? The heathen are no, are no longer gonna be in you, right? The uncircumcised, unclean. Let's go on into the heathen are no longer gonna be able to come in, come in and trample you down, right? Right. Verse two. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down. O Jerusalem, loose, thy, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captivity, O captive, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus said the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for, for night, and ye shall be redeemed without money. So we're going to be redeemed without money, right? This hasn't happened yet, right? So so we know that this, this, is, this is a coming prophecy, man, right? Where, we, where we're going to be out of captivity, you know what I'm saying? The, the 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 chains the chains are, go, are gonna be is gonna be loose on our necks. Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible, man? Huh? Hey, man, repent, man. All right, come back to who you, who you truly are, man. But like I was saying, that's going to us being being uh, uh, taken away from captivity and going back into our land. And once we get there, the uncircumcised, the unclean, the heathens, they will not be able to be able to come into our land and to overtake it, you know what I'm saying, to just stay there and just be all happy like they are now, right? Go ahead and continue. Verse 4, for thus said the Lord God, my people went down a fourth time into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrians oppressed them without cause. So it's going, it's going to two, two captivities right there, many Egyptian, Assyrian captivity, right? So, so that's they, going to the captivities and how he freed us from these, man. Go ahead. Now, therefore, what have I, what have I here? Said the Lord, that my people is taken away for night. They, they that rule over them, make them to bow. Said the Lord, in my name, continually, ever, continually, every day, and blaspheme. So, their his name is being blasphemed because they're looking at it when they got power over us, just like how these heathens do right now. They got power over us. And we tell them that, that God loves us. He's for us. That's why they look at us like, man, yeah, right. Y'all see the state that y'all in? God, probably, he can't possibly love you guys, right? That, that's that's why. That's why I tell you too that they're gonna be shocked. They're gonna be like, these. This was the people. They're gonna be in derision. These was the people all this time. These niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, it is. We gone. Those people, right? You know what I mean? They go. They 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 don't believe it right now. But in that day, they gonna believe it. They gonna see. Watch. Continue. Notice that he said his name, right? You got to baptize him in the name, right? And his name is being blasphemed because his name doesn't hold to us. The Most High holds shows shows his true power, right? And with us being low, with us being ran over, you don't, you know, what I'm saying they don't really, really believe that, that there's a true God. That's why people out here today, you know, I don't believe in God. We do. I right, well, you will when when the Most High frees us from this captivity, same way he did Egypt, and he and he destroy y'all. Y'all gonna know then that it's one true God, and he's with Israel. Go ahead. Therefore my people shall know my name, therefore they shall know, and that they 
that I am I am he that doeth speak. So we should know his name in that day. Right? So that's why we got to go out here and baptize him in this name. Because through this, through Yahweh, Yahweh, he exists in the name of he who delivers. Right? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Right. So we going to know that he exists when he saves us through Yahweh Shah. That's right. how you're going to know when the Most High God truly exists. There's going to be no doubt. Because everything he's going to bring up on this nation, you're going to be out. You're going to be stupid to ever think that it's another God or, or, or that God doesn't exist. Right. When he blows up Babylon. And these are nothing but but a, but a big fill of lava, right? Go ahead. Behold, it is it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that the Titus, the Titus, that good news, that gospel, go ahead. that publish peace, that breaketh good tidings of good, that publish salvation, that saith unto unto Zion, that. So my dog God reigneth. Now watchmen shall lift up the voice with the voice together shall they sing. Well, we can see right now that that's not happening like watchmen. Us out here, we not all don't want to call on some, some, some parts of the doctrine, right? We're not seeing out of eye. But at that day, we all going to see out of eye. We all going to have the same understanding. We all going to be following this, the, the, uh, the, the Shabbat the way they should be followed. Our uh, holy days, we all going to be keeping them together, right? Right now it's not happening, so you know this ain't came to pass yet. This is how you know too that the heathen over there in that land, they not the true Israelites, man. Right? Go ahead. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall break again Zion. When the Lord shall bring Zion, that's that's when that's gonna happen. What's up? Hey brother, hey bro with the uh with the iguana, bro. What's up, bro? What's up? Come talk to him, chop it up with me, bro. Hey man, hey, what, hey, we gonna have all kind of animals in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, we have the meat of animals, bro. Okay. What's up, bro? What's up with it, bro? I see you got that cross on. You believe in the Bible, bro? Yeah, I believe in the Bible. Believe in the Bible, man. Yeah. How you? How you? How, that's a that's a dove, huh? Oh, it's a pigeon. It's a pigeon? A white pigeon? A rare white pigeon, yeah. How you, how you, how you get it? What, you just caught it? I bought it in Miami. Oh, you bought it in Miami? Okay, you got it all trained to stuff. Yeah, it's one kind of club, too. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, he's, he chilling. Oh, okay. That it, that, that it, uh, he won it too, man. They get along? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what you believe in the Bible, right? You know that uh, you were Israelite, right? Yeah. You heard that before? Yeah. What tribe? Uh, Judah. Oh, Judah. Most likely, you are. Know. I'll praise the most how you know that. Now, with that understanding, comes what? What responsibility that you, you got to keep with, with that? A whole bunch of responsibilities. A whole bunch of responsibilities, right? Yeah. You got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. Give me that. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God, right, and keep his commandments. Go ahead. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to do, right? With the understanding, there's two things, man. Well, it's, it's like three things. First of all, you know smoking blood is off, right? So why are you doing it? I do a lot of things that sin. I don't know why I'm doing it. You just so, but and you know it's a sin though. You know, all right, bro. No, it's having sex is not a sin. That's actually the first commandment: be fruitful and multiply. Sex is marriage, right? You want to understand that we can get fly and we can build you up, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to come, you got to put that, put the put the bud down and at least put it in the brown. You know what I'm saying? And eat it when you like tired or you know what I'm saying? You're trying to go to sleep, you got to summon you. You know what I'm saying? You got Crohn's disease or whatever your, whatever your reason going to be. At least eat it and make it lawful, right? But don't do it to just get high and be addicted to it. Right? And then that cross. You know what I'm saying? That cross. Let me show, let me show you this too. Watch this, brother. Watch this, brother. Yeah, it is. This is the 
The Book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. So we sin willfully, like you say, some sin, you know about that? Nah, I ain't gonna finish it up. There we, that we have received the knowledge of the truth. There is there remaining no more sacrifice for sin. So there remain no more sacrifice for sin. Once you once you just sin, you know what I'm saying? Really, really, like y'all know it's a sin. I'm gonna do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? You gotta truly repent. Come from there because the blood of Christ is gonna come through on you. You see what I'm saying? And you might have to go through the second death. You might have to have to live live a previous you know what I'm saying? Perfect life, bro. And we don't want that to happen to you. We want as many as many people as we can. I mean, you might, but it's never too late. You know what I'm saying? As long as long as as long as it's not in, as long as long as that seven uh, uh, six trumpet ain't been blown, bro, you still got time, bro. You can come back. Because we standing here, the nukes ain't dropped. You know what I'm saying? The chairs ain't came and beamed them, so that's how you mean. So you still guys, grace is still still available to you if you if you want to receive it, right? This is uh, and this is uh, this is kind of going in up to like you know, cross or whatever. I mean, you, like the chain is cool, but like the like the idol one, the cross, yeah, the cross. You know, the cross is an idol, right? Uh, no, I know something disrespectful about the cross. Yeah. It's a couple of things with the cross. First of all, it's, it's, it's a symbol of Roman execution, right? Christ was the only person that got on that cross, right? They right. died on that Israelite, they died on that cross, right. right? So how do you know that that's represent, actually represent Christ and clearly represent one of those thieves that was, that was Messiah, right? right? Not only that, it also goes goes back, go, goes into, that one right there specifically, goes into Talmud, goes into Babylon, that right? People worship that idol. You, you've been to a church and they got the cross big in the back and Jesus hanging on it, and then they got the altar right in front of it. That's literally them praying to, praying to an altar, praying to an idol. You know what I'm saying? So that's going on. That's why this idol is being praised, it's being worshipped. Right? Go ahead and give me this. This is, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 25. The graven images of their gods you shall burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them. Right, if you got a, a golden cross, you know what I'm saying. Nor take it unto thee, lest you be snared therein. Right, so he's basically what's another word? Snare. It's a trap, right? So the Most High, he's, he's trying to. He he already knows this is going to be a snare to his people, but he's trying to prove us. And this is uh this is how he proves us. This is uh Exodus chapter 20, verse 20. It says this. Um, and Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God is come to prove you. Right? He's come to prove us to see if we're going to be snared into that trap. That he already knew that these, these other gods of these other nations were going to be unto his people. Because right? it's a part of the curses. That, that he's come to prove you and that his fear may be before your faces that you sin not. And going back to this, it says, It is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shall you bring an abomination into your house. That grave image. So you shouldn't even put that in your house. Right? He says, neither shall you bring it into your house, lest you be a cursed thing like unto it. Right? So you'll be cursed along with that cross. It says, but thou shalt utterly detest, meaning you shall loathe it, you shall hate it, and you shall utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. You okay, so why is it want to be in the show? It's an idol basically because we can worship it and it goes back, it goes mm -hmm. back to, to uh, uh, Babylonia, Babylonia. But it's on the whole time. Mm -hmm. This, no, not at all. And this, this, it's actually not a star. Even if it's this, this is actually a living. This, is actually, it's actually, it's actually representation. Pump, a 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 pump, Five points off to the blue as well. Worshiping the cross right there. Like, people literally bow down bow down to that. You know what I'm saying? They pray to it. Like I said, at the altar, you see Christians, they'll go to the altar and they'll bow down in front of the cross and they'll literally be praying the altar God. That's literally, literally praying, praying to the idol. They'll wear that cross and be like, oh yeah, this, 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 I, I'm bearing the cross. That's going on. That's just an image, that's just a simple symbol. They can't do nothing for you. Right. 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 Right.
The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The heart is deceitful. They talk about the heart of the Bible, it's talking about the mind. You know what I'm saying? So you're going off your feelings, you're just going straight back to your mind, making you feel what your mind you got your thinking. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's desperately wicked. You know what I'm saying? It, your mind is wicked. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get us right. It's going this. You know what I'm saying? Having the Holy Spirit put, put up on us so we can come out of our evil thoughts and our evil ways. Watch this. This is another thing about the idol. We love the most high God, right? Most definitely. All right. So this is what he said about the idol. Let's see if we're going to do it. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 22. You shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. That's what cast away as a menstruous cloth. You throw that thing away. You don't do that for the most high God. So what you going to do now? The option? The option? Well, the verse has been said to you again. Twice. Twice now. I've been looking at it for months. Twice now. So what you going to do? You're going to throw it. My purchase book, like, two months. So what you going to do now? You're going to take it off and throw it away? You're going to keep it? Yeah, what? I'm going to take it off and throw it away. Let's see. Give my man the flight, bro. You trying to get you out here with us, man. All right? Give this bird back. Oh, you want the bird? Yeah, give him the bird. Come get the understanding of who you should be. Stress the bird out. How would you be supposed to fall? You know what I'm saying? How would you be supposed to be? God's supposed to be, bro. You know what I'm saying? I pray some of those high people. You know what I'm saying? You got the bro. You get the bird. You can go back, study. You can come out here and cry. About 6, 30, 7. You know what I'm saying? And then on Saturdays, we'd be out here like 4, 4.30. You know what I'm saying? So we out here for the edification of our people. Feeding up of our people, bro. You want to come with us, congregate with us, we have a peace. You know what I'm saying? We're going down. We get together. You know what I'm saying? You want to come and be a part of it, bro. Be a part of it, brother, bro. Just let us know, man. You heard me? Yeah. You want to cost the rest of that dude? Hey, I, I wasn't gonna say nothing, but if you if you better to do it, this is the reason why because I know me and I'm just gonna go go back and get some more. Yeah. Hey, brother, work on it, bro. Yeah, hey, it's hey, a working problem. We yeah. all, everybody up here, you see up here. 
had that same problem. So I'm not gonna put none of you that I couldn't do myself. It took right. me a while to get rid of that. You see what I'm saying? So I ain't even, it, it didn't take me nothing to get rid of that cross like you just did. I threw that soon as I learned. But with that, hey, it took a while. You see what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna put none on you that I couldn't do myself. So this gun be built up, you know what I'm saying? And then we'll do the spirit of the most high, bro. Eventually you will get rid of it, bro. Go ahead. This is Acts chapter 16, verse 28. For it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things. Something upon you that I know I had a stroke of men. You see what I'm saying? First coming in, first understanding. You see what I'm saying? So, that broke. I can pass off that idol. Yeah. The idols were got us sitting in slavery. Right? Right. Right. I'm not smoking food, even though that's all. But we got to get these idols. You know what I'm saying? We got to get far away from the small doctors. possible. Get up the email, bro. Get us up. We out here Friday, Sunday, bro. Come back. Conjugate with the field. Bro. Man, man. We, 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 we